past him to bring a championship to Portland. You can't sleep on Damian Lillard that way. He should stay where he is because it's obviously where he wants to be. I can sleep on it. I have slept on it. I have slept on it. I'll continue to sleep on it. And you know how I feel about Damian Lillard. That's my man right there. Let me say this to you in a, as a testament to his greatness. Max Kellerman, he signed up, obviously represented by Aaron and Eric Goodwin in the Goodwin Management Group. They do a great job. We know they're one of the elite agents in this business. Um, this is Damian Lillard's salary over the next few years. So he's at $31 million this year. I think he's like 19th highest paid player in the NBA at $31 million. Next year, he's going to be at 43. 2022-23 is going to be at 47. 23-24, 50 million. 24-25 at 54 million dollars. And ain't nobody, ain't nobody even took a deep breath. That's how bad this brother is. He's something special, okay? Nobody, nobody qualms about anything in regards to Damian Lillard's money because Dame time is Dame time. He shows up when it counts. We know what he brings to the table. But we also know what ain't coming to the table. Ain't no damn championship. First of all, let me say this to you. Terry Stotts is a good coach. I'm not questioning anything about Terry Stotts in terms of his basketball acumen or whatever. But in terms of that coach that just has the ability to peel something extra out of people, I still haven't seen that from him. I think he's a, he's a good coach, but he's just a coach that won't hurt you, you know, because he knows what the hell he's doing. Whether he's that guy that will take you over the hump from a coaching standpoint has yet to be seen, and I'm still not sold on it. As it pertains to Damian Lillard, I'll tell you something I shared with both him and C.J. McCollum in the past. I don't think they'll win together. I think both of them are lethal, arguably the best backcourt in basketball this side of Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. I get it. I understand it completely. When we talk about the best backcourts in the game, Harden and Kyrie, Damian and C.J., Steph and Clay when Clay is healthy and not in that order. That's how I feel about it. But here's the problem. For some reason, when it comes to Portland, that's all you got. You got other guys around you that can play the Mellows, the Covingtons of the world, the Nurkic of the world, who's, you know, always hurt and all of this other stuff, even though he could play at least offense when he's healthy. But I just look at it, and I've been one who, who firmly believes two things. Number one, because of Dame's personality, his moxie, his, 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 his swag, just overall swag, because he don't say much. But when he speak, he like E.F. Hutton, you better listen, because he got something to say, okay? The brother's big time, and I'd love to see him in a big time market. Me personally, New York or L.A., I would love that, because I think Dame would, even though he's got all the commercials and he's got the money, believe it or not, I think there's room for his popularity to even grow because of that swag and the game that comes with it. So on a personal level, I would like to see that happen. But I'll say this, professionally, I don't believe they'll win a championship together. I think one of them has to be moved in order for Portland to utilize them to get the other assets they need in order to take them over the hump. That's just my personal belief. Well, that, and it's not because one is well, lacking. Both of them are, are legit. Both of them are it offensively. But defensively, in terms of size and things of that nature and whatever you can bring to the table, I just have always said, and I told him, I shared this with both of them at least a couple of years ago. I said, look, I think y'all will make the playoffs. I think y'all are good. I think y'all are big-time backcourt. But I don't think you'll ever win a championship together because Portland yeah, ain't going to get the assets you said that to C.J. when he came on this show a couple of years ago. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember you saying that C.J. McCollum. I think about it differently. I think you keep them together and you have to hit in the draft. Like, you're going to have to find a, a, a steal in the draft the way the Knicks came up with quickly, the way teams can find gems a little later in the draft to join these guys and, and maybe make a savvy tr move or two. Um, but in regards to Lillard's money, you know what I was thinking as you were reading his salary, Stephen A.? Don't believe that time is money. Money is time. You stay focused, you look up, and your money is fine. You know who said that? Damian Lillard. Like, Lillard is not thinking about all that stuff. Lillard is focused on the job he has ahead, which he thinks is bringing a chip to Portland. You know, it, it, and it, he's so competitive. We have a tendency, like, look what just happened with J.J. Watt. Oh, J.J. Watt really wasn't be all about that competition, all about being competitive. If he was, he wouldn't have joined Arizona. He would have joined a more stocked team. 
Why is that more competitive? When you join a team that's already tipped the scales and now you're good, and now it's ridiculous, that's more competitive? Maybe it's more competitive for J.J. Watt to go to Arizona and say, I believe in Kyler Murray. I, I believe in, in some of the pieces on the defense. My guy DeAndre Hopkins, I'm going to sign here because I think we can compete and win. That Damian Lillard's attitude, he's not seeing it as I'm going to form a super team, a super duper team with, with my and make the super friends and the Hall of Justice and stuff, and, and, and no one will stand in our way, we'll obliterate everybody. To me, that's not the most competitive thing you can do. The most competitive is you stay where you are, and by the way, or, or even if you find another place, and you believe in something you can build and lead to a championship. That is anti the way all these guys do it nowadays, and that's why Lillard in that way stands by himself. It's why he gets a different kind of respect. Well, this is not about respect. I mean, there's no question. He's not lacking in the respect department. Anybody that knows anything about ball respects Damian Lillard. Anybody that knows anything about competition expect, respects Damian Lillard. This is about whether or not he should remain in Portland. I think that he's done and continues to do all he can as a Portland trailblazer. I just don't think from an organizational perspective that's the right place for him to be. I've always said this to him. I'll continue to say that to him. I don't think it's the right place for him to be. I think him being there, they're going to be exactly what they are. They're going to be a competitive team. That's a playoff team. Tough out. But then they, they'll be a tough out, as you just said, a tough out. That's about all. He has never been in the situation, nor do I believe he will ever be in a situation where he's going to be a prohibitive favorite playing for the Portland Trailblazers. And I think his greatness demands that we see him on an even larger stage than we have. Now, it's his choice, and he's chosen. He told me personally, he ain't down with moving on. That's not how he rolls. He ain't trying to join some super team or anything like that. If anything, it's about Cash joining him. He's where he wants to be. So I want to make sure I'm clear. This is me talking. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.